How's my French accent everybody? <laughs> Welcome to Paris. We arrived here yesterday and it's really weird to have the vlog camera in my hand because I haven't vlogged for about four days now. We completely abandoned Denise for the vlog and just took it as some really nice downtime by the sea. Really enjoyed ourselves but now we are back in action and ready for tons of walking. We have a full day today and a half day tomorrow to see as much as we possibly can. We are at the moment walking from our hotel and I apologize for the wind if it's very windy and you can't hear me. We walked from our hotel to Notre Dame. We are making our way up the Seine and you can see Notre Dame just here in the background which we are very excited about because obviously it is the setting for Disney's Hunchback of Notre Dame. So we're, we're loving life right now. Let me zoom you in so you can see. Wowzers. Such a lovely place to stop. There's nobody here. But we walked up this way purely because it's very quiet and it has some lovely views along the river. And so Danny's gonna take his photos here before we get up close. And it's we're just mobbed with tourists. Hey Danny, keep your eye out for Quasimodo. I will. Hanging from the, uh, the bell tower. Found him. Little Quasimodo. <laughs> now when we're here now, I'm just gonna spend the whole day saying to you, you are the form <laughs> and you are ugly. <laughs> Thanks. Little Quasimodo there. <laughs> song from Hunchback of Notre Dame. Although he means it, he doesn't really mean it. Do you, Danny? Do you, do you, do you, do you? Maybe. <laughs> and this is the queue to get in. Absolutely mental. Are we going to do it? Yeah. We'll see. It's I think let's go, go and in. see. It's mm. free to go in, but it's 12 then I think to climb, to the, climb the, the bell towers. The problem with only having two very short days in Paris is that you kind of have to pick and choose what attractions or touristy sites you want to go to first. So we would have loved to climb the towers there, but unfortunately there's 1,300 and something people in line before us. We and might do it tomorrow. Yeah, we might do it tomorrow. So we're thinking because we have a half day tomorrow, we leave our bags with the hotel reception and come back and climb the tower in the morning before the, we have to leave. The thing about tomorrow is as well as that. It's kind of our own time when we mm -hmm. leave, so we can just choose when we want to leave. Exactly. If we have time at the end of the day, we can allocate time to it. Exactly. So yeah. Yep. And also another thing that we've after discovering, kind of between here and Italy, there's a lot of discounts or free attractions for you if you're under 25 and an EU citizen. So that's a really good thing to look into before you go online and buy any tickets. You know, why would you buy the ticket if it's free? Exactly, it's free for EU citizens under 25 from what we can make out. That's the ticket that applies to us anyway. And there could be some reductions for EU residents if you're over 25, but you'd have to check that out. But don't go buying tickets. Make sure you check first. Check everything and everywhere, yeah, definitely. all the attractions. You would save yourself an absolute bomb. The queues for the Louvre are going to be insane, so we kind of have to allocate a little bit of time for that. So it's time to roll onto the Louvre and try and take in all of these sites while we're doing that. <laughs> those iconic pyramids at the top how beautiful stunning extra incredible is this oh we're so excited well we thought that I was basic with my Instagram page you know Danny would call me the basic bitch until yeah. we arrived in France it's a whole nother level it's a new level of basic and extra and they're so inspirational to me <laughs> This is Danny's first time here. I was here years ago with school, probably about eight years ago now, and it's surprising how I didn't remember a whole ton until I actually stepped foot in the building, and then all these memories kind of started coming flooding back. It was really weird, but it's so nice to be here and to share this with you, Danny. So nice. Oh, stop. <laughs> Danny. Yes. You have to admit, you're half expecting Lumiere to appear. Yeah, hop out and start dancing from there. Yeah, I think it's Lumiere. <laughs> <laughs> we did a little bit of scouting around, saw some ancient Egyptian artifacts, and now we are making a beeline for the Mona Lisa along with everybody else in the entire place. It is the most viewed and most uh, famous painting in the world, so naturally enough, everybody comes to see it. You might have to hold the camera just so I can see it. As expected, there's like mobs of people here trying to see it at the same time. I don't know if we'll ever make it to the top. I'm okay, but little Sinead can't see. There are perks and negatives of being small. So, if anybody was wondering what the view is like from my height, <laughs> that's it. That's what happens when we get tired and delusional. Dig in, Danny. 
dig into your pizza. <laughs> Slightly starting to regret the long sleeve t-shirt. Ah, but we're heading to Pond des Arts, which is the bridge where the couples tie their love locks and hopefully they'll last forever. So that might be something cute to do. I've been uh, egging Danny on since Salzburg to allow me to do it. Oh my Danny. Yeah, you've been so <laughs> persistent. Though. There it is, the love lock bridge. They have replaced the barriers, the grates with glass. So <laughs> that's the end of that. But the views are really lovely, so I'm not going to complain. That's what people have resorted to. <laughs> we'll do it. We'll give it a good go. <laughs> How romantic. Yeah, there we Locked. go. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> And for environmental purposes, I shan't be throwing the key into the river. I'll just keep a hold of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might need to unlock it anyway, so. Oh. <laughs> Yay, and we made it to the Arc de Triomphe. Next stop is to try and get up there where all those tiny little people are standing. It's funny how you approach the Arc de Triomphe and you have to go underground, come up underneath it to get even close to it because all the traffic is kind of circulating around you. But it's actually amazing to feel the scale of the place by standing underneath it before we stand on top of it. Just get a look at this. Bad memories of Munich, Danny. <laughs> okay, so my cardio is bad. But that is killer. Those stairs are killer. Danny, I think we need to invest in a Stairmaster for the gym. Look, I'm sweating. This is not a, uh, a healthy glow. It's sweat. There's more. Oh, here. Lord save me. This is one of the rare times that Danny doesn't know where I am. And he's walking around like the headless chicken. Danny, Arc de Triomphe views. Come on, go on. Done. Well, next stop, Le Tour I don't know if that was Italian, French, got a German in there. We walked from the Arc de Triomphe to the Eiffel Tower. It's only about a 20 minute walk. And you come in, I think this is the back, and you get this absolutely insane view. All right, I'm not gonna lie, this is definitely one of the highlights of my day. This is beautiful. Typical, we're just through security and my camera is flashing red. The dreaded red flashing battery. Stop the camera, please. <laughs> this is what we're currently looking at. I'm gonna vlog as much as I can until the camera dies. This is amazing. Standing underneath it, looking up. We're gonna see now if we can get tickets to climb up. Hopefully not by stairs, but this seems to be the line for the stairs and there's probably an even longer one for the escalators. I think the camera died at the right time. It was a little bit of an omen because as soon as we got in the queue, we waited about 10 minutes to go up to the very top of the Eiffel Tower. A lady came and she told us, yeah, it's closed today. There's too many people. You might be lucky and it might be open in an hour. So we did a time cost, heads and tails. Heads we leave, tails we go. It was tails. We left, we're back at the hotel. And <laughs> tails we go. I'm tired. We did a time cost. Heads we leave. <laughs> time cost. <laughs> We've done a coin toss. <laughs> Heads we stay, tails we go. It was tails. We left. Good afternoon, morning, evening, wherever you are in the world, everybody. We're back again. Yesterday when I left you, my camera was dying and they closed the top of the Eiffel Tower. Well, today we are back. Wow. We're going to head and find a queue to get into now, hopefully with an elevator, because after walking something like, what, 30,000 steps yesterday, our legs are fairly in bits. <laughs> I should have said yesterday we had, yesterday and today, we had an absolutely unreal fresh breakfast at a boulangerie right by our hotel. And I'm going to show you what we had and oh, it's just delicious. We don't have bakeries like that in Ireland. I think the, the girl that worked there thought we were a little bit crazy being so excited over coffee and a croissant, but it was absolutely brilliant. <laughs> So it already says that there is a 45 minute wait on the second floor, according to Danny. One of the girls outside said that the Eiffel Tower was going to be destroyed six months after the exhibition that it was put up for, which is really cool. It's still here. <laughs> on the second floor, they've got like restaurants and shops. It's really nice to just have a look around. It's actually really chilly outside. I'm glad I brought my jacket today, but it's also a good 10 degrees cooler than it was yesterday. I just took a view up. Insane. We're so close to the summit now. What? <laughs> Scary! Danny, 
Yeah. We're in Paris. Yeah. Touch the Eiffel Tower. Oh! So, okay. And there's nothing more to look up. We are at the very top. Okay, everybody, we have left the Eiffel Tower. We have left the center of Paris. We have arrived at our unexpectedly amazing, awesome, insane, incredible hotel close to Disneyland Paris, where we're heading for the next two days. I just wanted to do a quick room tour because honestly we've stayed in some nice places but we've never stayed anywhere like this before this is the view the second you enter the door you've got a kitchen come on people we've got a little kitchen with like coffee facilities microwave fridge all fully kitted out with everything we might need now of course we won't be cooking while we're here but it looks amazing there's even a little tiny dishwasher what <laughs> then you turn around and you've got a gorgeous bathroom here it's huge it's bigger than my bedroom seriously it's absolutely massive the best bit though the best bit <laughs> no not you not you <laughs> this bed is huge it's absolutely massive and i literally adore the wooden floors i think that makes such a difference in a hotel lovely telly nice office space and this huge mirror and this people people it feels so blooming extra we were not expecting it we certainly weren't expecting the kitchenette that is a real surprise and a nice surprise at that but everything is so cool this is the wardrobe everything is completely hidden it's so sleek i'm like okay ideas from a future house right here i would happily live here oh stop i would live in this room like it's literally everything you need kitchen bathroom bed all in one place little office space a1, I think we kill each other though in one space, Danny. I think we kill each other anyway. Yes, well with that said, everybody, it is off to Disneyland Paris tomorrow. We're going to spend the rest of the night getting ourselves organised for tomorrow. Are we hitting the adventure park tomorrow, you think? I think so. Yeah. Anyway, regardless, it's going to be absolutely insane. So, really hope you enjoyed our Paris day. It was short and sweet. We got the major things ticked off our list that we wanted to get ticked off. Of course, we are going to be back multiple times in the future. We're so blessed and so lucky that we live so close to Paris. It's literally a two hour flight, if even. I don't even think it's a two hour flight. So if you like this video, everybody, and you liked our Paris journey, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe so you don't miss any of our Disney vlogs. And we will talk to you in Disneyland. Bye.